Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to show you about the difference between tens and ones and how to show them in the real world and in the mass world. Tens and ones are used to help us show the value of a number. There's no point in saying or writing the number 5 if you don't know what that actually means. We can show the value of a number in the mass world by writing it down, but in the real world it's about seeing that amount of objects. Numbers 0 to 9 are ones and have one digit. It's easy to show the value of ones with objects from the real world because you don't need many of them. One is one one. Two is two ones. And three is three ones. You can show the value of a number in the real world by showing the amount of objects, and in the maths world by writing the number. I wonder if you can do the same as me and show 6, 7, 8 and 9 using the real world and the maths world. See if you can use some different objects from your house. Tens have a higher value, so you need a lot of ones to show them. They're also two digit numbers. To write the number 20, you need a two and a zero. And to show 20 in the real world, you need 20 ones. Even though you write them differently, tens are just like ones because you need objects to show them. The problem is the higher the value, the more objects you need. Four needs four objects. And 30 would need 30 objects. The first 10 is 10, so you need 10 objects, or 10 ones, like this. You'll notice that making a 10 is the same as making a 1. You just find that amount of objects or ones that you need, and count them out. The next 10 is 20, so you need 20 ones. So just count out 20 objects. The next 10 is 30, which would mean you would need 30 objects, and this is going to take you some time. And if it takes you a long time to make 30, how long will it take to make 40, 50, 60, 70, and 90? Well, a way of solving this problem is by making groups of 10 with straws. This can help you show the amount in the real world. you can get 10 straws. Count each one until you have 10. And when you've got 10, stop counting and tie an elastic band around it. Now whenever you need 10, you don't need to count 10 ones, you can just pick up your group of straws because you know it's 10. See if you can use some more straws to count from 10 to 20. Use the 10 straws you've already got and count up in ones. Ten. Eleven. Twelve. Thirteen. Fourteen. Fifteen. Sixteen. Seventeen. 18, 19, 
20. And how many straws did you use? 10. So you can put an elastic band around those, and now you've got another group. You've got 20 altogether, which is 20 ones, or two groups of 10. If you're feeling confident with this, keep using straws to make new sets of 10. I wonder what other numbers you can make. If you're not feeling so confident, just remember these main ideas. Ones have a smaller value, so you'll have less objects when you count them out. Tens have a higher value, so you'll see more objects. Ones are from zero to nine. And tens are just groups of ones that have been put together. Thanks for listening. See you soon.